Well, the time is now 649. The world's airlines have pledged to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. That means ditching fossil fuels for something green. Suzanne Lawler shows you that Lanza Jet moved into Soperton and together they may make history in aviation technology. You know, as a kid, I even remember it like it was such a treat to ever you know, go on an airplane or something, especially from a small town like this. Trentland County Commission Chairman Phil Jennings the fourth has come full circle when it comes to aviation. Our first commercial scale plant is expected to start up in 2022. Freedom Pines Fuels in Soperton, Georgia, USA. This skyscraper blue tower will churn out sustainable aviation fuel or SAF by the end of the year. The construction phase, they've, they've got I think 125 uh, direct jobs out there, um, somewhere in that ballpark. Full-time jobs will be 31 people. I just know they're just going to be able to bring jobs to the local people. Lanza is projected to bring in a $70 million a year economic impact. Five million of that just in salaries. And those are big numbers for an area that has about 10,000 people in the city and county. Uh, it'd be something different for Soperton, that's for sure. Different for Soperton and different for the planet. Freedom Pines is the first refinery of its kind in the world. If, if this is the pioneer project, it'll give us a place in history if nothing else. The town has gotten national exposure. In December, dozens of people gathered for a kickoff event. But it's going to produce one third to 50 percent of all the sustainable aviation fuel in the United States. I was blown away at the people that were there. Um, people from literally all over the world. Jennings says Lanza is like a good neighbor. They've offered to help apply for grants to help the downtown area. It's like many small towns. Some storefronts are bleak, while others are bustling. Just building the tower has brought some new tenants to Main Street. You know, these dreams are coming to fruition. I'm, I'm happy for our county that we're, we're being able to, to reap the rewards of them choosing Soperton. It's definitely not a project that's going to fly under the radar. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. That's great for that community. Lanza says they picked Soperton because it's near the port of Savannah and the interstate. They also like that the area already had an industrial park in place. The time is